Over 3,500 years ago, two scripts emerged that would change how we understand ancient Mediterranean history. Linear B, cracked in the 20th century, gave us a vivid window into the Mycenaean world, a civilization of trade, governance and rituals. But Linear A, the language of the Minoans, remains an enigma. At first glance, the two seem closely linked. Linear B was derived from Linear A, borrowing its symbols and structure, yet the key that unlocked Linear B cannot do the same for its older sibling. Why? Because Linear B encodes early Greek, a language we can trace through history, while Linear A represents something entirely unique, perhaps unrelated to any known linguistic family. Linear A's challenge lies in its brevity and fragmentation. Most of its 1,500 inscriptions are short, context-lacking fragments. Without a bilingual Rosetta Stone equivalent, the script remains tantalizingly out of reach, yet its silence only amplifies its importance. If Linear A is deciphered, it could transform how we understand not only the Minoans, but the cultural currents that shaped the ancient Mediterranean. Linear A isn't just a linguistic puzzle, it's a time capsule. Could its secrets rewrite history? Or does its silence teach us something deeper about the fragility of civilizations and their stories? The decipherment of Linear B stands as a triumph of intellect and collaboration. While Michael Ventris, an architect with a passion for ancient scripts, is often credited, his breakthrough would not have been possible without the meticulous groundwork laid by Alice Kober, a classicist who dedicated her life to understanding its patterns. Kober catalogued thousands of symbols, identifying recurring sequences that hinted at numbers, names or places. Ventris built on her work, focusing on the hypothesis that Linear B recorded an early form of Greek. He tested sequences against known Mycenaean sites like Knossos, and when they aligned, the script came alive. Linear B revealed an intricate world of palace economies, religious rituals, and administrative precision. But why was Linear B decipherable while Linear A remains stubbornly silent? The answer lies in the language. Linear B encoded Greek, a language with modern descendants. Linear A, by contrast, likely represents a language with no living relatives, a linguistic orphan that refuses to yield its secrets. The story of Linear B's decipherment is a reminder of the power of persistence and collaboration. It opened a door to the Mycenaean world, but it also left us with a question. Who will be the Michael Ventris for Linear A? Linear A and Linear B may look like siblings, but they tell entirely different stories. Linear B was adapted by the Mycenaeans from Linear A, borrowing symbols and structures to record their own language, Early Greek. This adaptation makes Linear B a linguistic bridge, but one that doesn't span far enough to unlock Linear A. The key difference lies in their purpose. Linear B was a tool of administration, documenting palace economies with remarkable precision. Its inscriptions, like those found in Pylos, recorded inventories, rations, and religious offerings. Linear A, on the other hand, hints at something less rigid. Its inscriptions, often found on religious artifacts or small trade items, suggest a script deeply entwined with ritual and commerce, not merely governance. Scholars have found tantalizing parallels. A few symbols in Linear A and B seem to share phonetic values, hinting at shared origins, yet these fragments raise more questions than answers. Was Linear A a ritual language spoken only in sacred contexts? Or was it a trade tongue shaped by Crete's vast Mediterranean networks? Without more inscriptions or a bilingual text, the truth remains elusive. Linear A and Linear B remind us that scripts are more than symbols. They are reflections of the worlds that created them. Linear B speaks of palaces and power. Linear A whispers of trade, belief, and perhaps a society unlike any other. Could deciphering Linear A reveal a culture less hierarchical, more fluid and uniquely Minoan? Linear A remains one of history's most enigmatic puzzles. Why has it defied every effort to decipher it? The answer lies in three challenges its limited corpus, lack of a bilingual key, and the nature of the language it encodes. With fewer than 1,500 inscriptions, most of them short and fragmented, Linear A offers too little data to establish reliable patterns. Unlike Egyptian hieroglyphs or Linear B, there is no Rosetta Stone, a text that links the unknown to the known. 
Scholars are left to work in the dark, piecing together fragments with no clear starting point, but the most daunting obstacle may be the language itself. Linear A likely encodes a tongue unique to the Minoans, unrelated to the Indo-European family. Its symbols suggest something distinct, possibly even a composite system influenced by Crete's extensive trade networks. Some experts propose that Linear A was used primarily in religious or ritual contexts, while others see it as a practical trade language. Theories abound, but each new hypothesis adds layers to the mystery. Could Linear A hold the names of gods, records of trade agreements, or the stories of a long-lost people? Or is it something entirely different, a symbolic code rather than a true language? As technology advances from AI to quantum computing, new tools may finally bring answers. For now, Linear A reminds us that some mysteries are not meant to be solved easily. They are meant to challenge how we think about history. When Michael Ventris deciphered Linear B, he didn't just solve a linguistic puzzle. He opened a window into the daily life of the Mycenaeans. This ancient script revealed a world meticulously organized, deeply religious, and connected by trade networks that spanned the Aegean. The clay tablets uncovered at Pylos and Knossos documented the movement of goods, grain stores, bronze weaponry, and textiles. They also detailed offerings to gods, including Poseidon, whose name would echo through Greek mythology centuries later. Linear B's practical purpose was clear to record the workings of palace economies, where rulers governed resources with precision. But perhaps its greatest revelation lies in its connection to Linear A. The Mycenaeans didn't create Linear B from scratch, they adapted it from the Minoans' Linear A. This adaptation suggests a cultural and economic exchange where one civilization borrowed the tools of another to suit its own needs. Yet, while Linear B offers a vivid picture of Mycenaean society, Linear A remains silent about the Minoan world. What could Linear A reveal? A society less hierarchical, perhaps, or one where trade and ritual were tightly interwoven? Could it tell us about the origins of Minoan myths, the names of their gods, or the networks that linked Crete to distant lands? Linear B showed us what's possible when a script is unlocked. Linear A reminds us of how much remains to be discovered. Linear A remains one of history's great unsolved mysteries, but today's technology offers new hope. Artificial intelligence and quantum computing are redefining how we approach ancient languages, bringing speed and precision to a task that has eluded human effort for decades. AI has already shown promise in deciphering ancient texts. Neural networks trained on Ugaritic, a 3,000-year-old language, successfully identified symbols and patterns in days, a task that once took years. For Linear A, AI could analyze its symbols in relation to Linear B, searching for shared phonetic values or grammatical structures. Yet the challenge remains, Linear A's small corpus offers limited data for machine learning to analyze. Quantum computing adds another dimension. By processing vast datasets simultaneously, quantum algorithms could test countless linguistic hypotheses in seconds, finding connections that traditional methods might miss. These tools could also analyze context where inscriptions were found, how they were arranged, and their relationship to other scripts. Still, technology alone cannot solve the puzzle. Without the expertise of archaeologists, linguists, and historians, even the most advanced algorithms risk misinterpretation. Linear A's silence isn't just a technical challenge. It's a reminder of how much we still don't know about the Minoans and their world. But as technology advances, the question is no longer if Linear A will be deciphered, but when and what it will tell us about a civilization that shaped the ancient Mediterranean. Linear A is more than an undeciphered script. It's a gateway to understanding a civilization that once thrived at the heart of the ancient Mediterranean. The Minoans left us a legacy of art, trade and architecture, but their language remains their most enigmatic gift. Despite decades of study, Linear A resists every attempt to unlock its secrets. Yet history has taught us that breakthroughs are possible. The decipherment of Linear B revealed a world of Mycenaean palaces and rituals, forever changing how we see the Bronze Age. Could Linear A do the same for the Minoans? Could it tell us about their gods, their trade networks, or even the stories they told about themselves? But what if it doesn't? Even if Linear A remains undeciphered, its significance endures. 
It challenges us to rethink our methods, to push the boundaries of what's possible, and to keep asking questions. It reminds us that history isn't just about answers. It's about the pursuit of understanding. So what comes next? Will AI and quantum computing finally crack the code? Or will Linear A demand something more, an entirely new way of thinking? As we stand on the edge of discovery, one thing is clear. The Minoan story isn't over yet. If mysteries like Linear A intrigue you, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to The Chronicle Pursuit for more deep dives into history's greatest puzzles. And we want to hear from you. What do you think Linear A might reveal when it's finally deciphered? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your curiosity keeps the story alive.